All right, everyone. Welcome to DevPro CB's introduction to the Google Play Music. Uh, this was a huge announcement in the keynote, and I figured, you know, this would be a great time to get and really introduce people to what Google Play Music can provide. You know, there's a lot of services out there right now, such as you know Pandora and so forth, um, that provide a streaming service. Um, but one of the benefits, especially with, for Android users in their Android devices is going to be the fact this is all integrated, you know, and anytime anything is integrated, it's always going to be a benefit uh, to the end user, you know, so we want to get an introduce you uh, through the, the Google Play Music uh, setup. This will allow you to go ahead and get established, get you up and running, make sure that you understand what Google Play Music is, what are the limitations, what are not the limitations and so forth. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. Um, when you first get started, uh, the minute you load up, there's an introductory uh, to Google Play Music. This is the basic introductory. Now, just so that you're aware, there's a free account, and then, of course, there's the paid-for account, um, similar to how the Xbox Music service um, is set up now as well. Uh, we pay $14.99 a month, and you get unlimited streaming music. That's the same exact way that Google Play Music works. Uh, it's a pay-for subscription, and when you pay for it, you're going to get that... Um, that, that f unlimited music streaming as well. If you use the um, free account, what that allows you to get ahead and do is actually just upload your music, the music that you have, up to the limits that Google has on the storage for that. Um, what's nice about that is if you already have uh, a library built up, you can get ahead and utilize that, which is really nice. You still don't have to pay for the service. You know, we're not going to get him play around. Obviously, pirating is still a big thing. You know, so if you still pirate your music, um, then obviously, you know, paying for service through Google Play Music um, may not benefit you. But the, the goal is, is obviously artists, they deserve their money. You know, you, you want to go ahead and make sure that they get credit for their accounts. And what streaming music has done is allowed for the best of both worlds. You know, so if you're pirating music, you know, you're not benefiting anybody beside yourself, at least for the artists that are truly creating music, the, the music that you, you know, have interest in, you know, going through a service like this, especially for the price point that it's at $7.99 per month, you can't beat that for unlimited music. You know, it may be something that you want to get ahead and consider, you know, and stop pirating music. It, it, you know, we're not going to stop you, uh, nor can we, are we going to endorse it here at DevPro, um, but it's something that you want, may want to consider. It's, it's a fabulous service. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and agree and go to next, right? Uh, like I said, it's going to give you the two options. You can do the standard. You can add up to 20,000 of your own songs, or you can go with the free trial. Okay, so this is where it's going to get and essentially ask you to uh, add your credit card information. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, pause the video at this point put in some credit card information and then from there you can get ahead and you know we'll go to the next um, after I accept and continue so just bear with me while I go ahead and do that real quick alright guys so now um, once your payment has obviously been completed um, so the steps you didn't see were me obviously putting in my credit card information which is mostly basic uh, most people knows how to get ahead and do that um, and then what it does is it tells you to confirm the purchase. You put in your address again, you push purchase. Uh, you get a free 30 day trial, um, at least starting from this video, which was done on the 28th um, of May. So whatever Google does after this in 2013, that's gonna be up to the, the, the Google or the Googlers uh, at that point. Um, but at this point, now you can go ahead and see the um, your all access free trial has been activated and so forth. So let's go ahead and click get started. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to get and load up your music library, which is nice, um, and you get introduced to this initial um, screen that's set up here. Um, so it's just essentially, you know, a getting started guide. But we're going to be your getting started guide, so we can get and, uh, go through all this without an issue. Um, so obviously our list now is empty. Um, your library is essentially where you're going to put music. Your radio is going to become really important, especially if you like Pandora and those types of services. Um, exploring is essentially um, new artists or recommendations they think that you should share and feel. These are just basic in introductory. Uh, they actually have no uh, an initial interest rating towards what you're looking for. Um, your queue, this is essentially any music that's currently playing at any given time. 
right? So if you've added a queue up, let's say you have 30, 40, 50 songs, this is exactly where that will go ahead and go. Uh, the thumbs up, this is essentially songs that you have liked on the Google service. So for example, if there was a specific song that you thumbed up, this will actually show in this playlist. And this is important because if you notice there's a lot of services, especially with, you know, iTunes, you know, the uh, Xbox music player and so forth, you know, you like music and that's to help with the rating system. But a lot of times what you realize is that uh, a playlist is not created for the music that you actually like. So thumbs up was actually a, a nifty feature that they added because anytime you like a song, it'll be added to this uh, particular queue. Uh, last added, self-explanatory. Obviously, you're going to be able to go ahead and add your videos to this service. Uh, free and purchased. Now, just so that you're aware, um, when you have the only the streaming only service, like for example, let's say you want to listen to your music on your Android device, you actually won't be able to actually um, download the music to that device um, unless you've purchased the song or you've uploaded a song to the Google Cloud, essentially. Um, so you still have the capabilities of uploading your song, but this particular, uh, any songs that you have currently need to stream. So when you actually load up the uh, Google Music app on your phone, it actually won't allow you to download any songs. So if you're on a data limit plan, uh, which uh, currently obviously um, Verizon, AT&T are known for right now for limiting, obviously if you're going to be trying to Bluetooth stream through your car, you're going to want to make sure you have a local list or you've purchased the song. So there's definitely a negative of the service where the other uh, companies allow you to download the song itself. So if you haven't purchased uh, the song, you won't be able to actually download it. It's, it's a streaming only setup for you. Uh, shared with me is a nice feature just because um, you actually can go ahead and share one free listen with somebody else. So if you want somebody to or introduce somebody to a song or an artist, this is a great way to do that. Essentially, when you have a song that you want them to listen to, you can go ahead and share that. Uh, that's done through, through the, um, the Play Now, uh, Google Play. Uh, playlist, obviously no different than any other playlist. You create a new playlist and go through. Uh, so right now we're going to get and show you how to add a song. So right now we're just going to look at, you know, the Billboard Top 100s. I already have that set up. Uh, right now, uh, can't hold this from Mac Lamore and Ryan is currently the uh, top Billboard for uh, June 1st of 2013. So as you can see, I copied that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to get and just search for Mac Lamore and Ryan, right? Uh, what's nice about this is it's pretty quick, um, but you can do different things. Now, if I again delete and Ryan, we can just do Macklemore, right? And what this does is it shows up uh, the album for the heist, right? So, like I said, the Can't Hold Us is the number one song. So, if we go ahead and go here, all we do is double click the song itself. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the music playing. Um, but the benefit of the, the, the music player is you double click it, it starts streaming almost instantly, right? Uh, obviously, this lets you know here that this is the active song. You have these three buttons here. This is important because obviously these are like, kind of like options for each song. You have the start radio. Uh, what that means is you can actually have Google Music start a radio based on this type of music that essentially Macklemore um, is currently in a genre, you know, so it's going to play songs that are similar uh, to them, similar to what Pandora currently does when you search for an artist or a genre here. Uh, Google also keeps a count of how many times you've played this song, you know, so it's going to go ahead and go towards ranking because don't forget Google is a search engine. So the more information you give it, the more accurate it's going to get when providing you music interest and so forth. If you play a particular song, more often than not, that'll help them on the back end, obviously letting them know that, hey, this song is doing really well, advertisements and so forth. You know, the whole Google business model. You know, don't forget Google's a business, no different than any other business. So they want to get and know this information. You shouldn't be scared of this type of thing. They're, they're just looking to get ahead and help um, orientate themselves to say, hey, this is great music. Let's go ahead and give artists here. We know artists need the, you know, additional concerts in this locations and so forth. You know, so this one little option here leads to a full spectrum um, for everyone. The rating, like I said, 
this is going to be towards liking the song or disliking it. So the more songs you dislike, obviously it's going to get to make sure that it doesn't recommend genres or songs that were similar to this um, in your, your recommended or um, your listen now playlist. All right, so if you go ahead and click the thumbs up, we'll go ahead and go to the auto playlist here and you'll see thumbs up here as well. And now all of a sudden I have a playlist created, right? So we'll go ahead and um, now focus down here real quick. So when we go ahead and focus down here, this is the music player itself, right? So obviously we're navigating. We can go ahead and go through any one of these options and the music still plays. You know, as long as I keep the actual pl uh, play music open, I can switch between any one of the tabs in the browser itself and the music still play. It's also um, responsive design, which means that you can play it on, let's say the Google Chrome Windows app um, on your phone, you know, so, or any browser that's essentially HTML5 compatible, you know, so you'll be able to get and play this even on a mobile device without using the app itself, which is really nice. Um, let's get and look at another billboard artist. Uh, so right now Pink has a song, just give me a reason. So we get and just search that. All right, so you see now, the way the search results come up, it gives them a best match. The first thing that comes up is pink, obvious, right? It also gives me artists, it gives me albums of that artist, and it gives me other songs um, of the artist itself, right? So we'll go ahead and just double click that. That'll go ahead and start that particular song. And you notice how fluid everything has been. I have not had a single tick um, of interruption in the service. Google does a great job at design. So overall, um, the design and the, the setup so far is amazing for what Google does, and that's just what you know Google is set up for overall. Um, now, going back to the options button here. So I'm playing the song right now. Obviously, you can't hear it uh, just because I'm dictating. Uh, but let's say I want to get and start the radio. That was quick, but look how many songs it picked overall. So just give me, you know, just give me a reason. You have Cheers by Rihanna uh, and so forth. And you notice the minute I double click, it's just going and going and going. It's super quick. That, that's really want to get ahead and get to a lot of people is, you know, this allows you to really get through things. Now, the other feature that a lot of people are going to like is the share feature. You know, if you're not a big Google Plus fan, this is the time to really jump on uh, Facebook. It's a proprietary software, you know, so you're forced to it's kind of like, small, you know, it doesn't really have a far reach. Google Plus has really expanded itself now, you know, to being all universal and to all the services that are provided through, you know, what you do socially. It's the true social network now. So if I go ahead and click share, right, so this is going to share on our public place. Now, one of the nice things about this is that one, I can go ahead and comment. So I can say great song by Christina Perry, right? But what you'll notice here is that it allows the other users that are visiting your page to listen and preview the song as well. And then I get to add it to my circles, right? So these are my team members, my VIPs. This is because I obviously I'm in control of my own page. Um, so obviously this is a new account that was created and I wanted to go ahead and start off with the Google Plus account. So you can actually follow DevProCB um, on the page. I have two pages, obviously a personal one and the main DevPro um, site. The page itself is going to be full of great content such as, you know, things like this. Um, but the listen to preview I think is really nice because it's going to allow you to engross other people in what you're listening to you know facebook and um, has never really allowed you to share music besides say hey i'm listening to this song right now and that's it you know google plus has integrated beautifully with google play so what this allows is the ability to share music and allow that person to truly feel your moods, you know, because a lot of times music dictates our moods, you know, so this allows you to share it, right? So I go ahead and click all my circles and I could do the public and then I go ahead and click share, right? I just shared this song. So we'll go ahead and go to the DevPro CB um, fan page here. 
All right, we'll go ahead and refresh. Now what you'll notice, because what I'm doing right now is I'm viewing it as public, as how anybody that came to our page that didn't have access to it initially would see it. I just shared the thousand years, right? So let's go ahead and go back real quick. Hold on. I'm going to stop the music from playing here, right? I'm stopping the music from playing in my Google Music because it was playing the entire time. I go to my public page. Now I'm viewing this as if I was a public person, somebody that's visited my page for the first time. If I go ahead and click play, it actually plays a sample of the song itself, which is really nice. So I get and stop that. But what's nice is I can get in plus one this, I can share it, and I can also comment on it. So it truly engrosses you overall in the experience. Let's go ahead and uh, go back. Hold on one second. All right. So now going back to the queue. So let's say, you know, I like that song. Bam. I got ahead and liked it, counted my plays, and then we'll go back to thumbs up. Bam. Look at that. I am now creating playlists based on my interests, which is, I don't know how to stress this is enough. This is amazing. This allows you to load up at any time, any songs that you thumbed up. And most of the time when we thumb up a song, it's because this song was so good. It was so moving. It was, it was just got you off your feet to dance that you rated it. A lot of times you listen to music and you go, oh, this was a good song, this is an app. But when you rate it, it means that you've, you've actually engrossed yourself in that song to willing to go ahead and rate it. So every time you rate a song, it'll automatically create that playlist, which is really nice. Now, we'll go back to the options down here, right? So we have the start radio. And what we can go ahead and do is we can add this to my library, right? So... Let's say you didn't want to thumb it up. It was it was a good song, but it wasn't the very best. You didn't have to add it as, you know, a, a thumbed up. You don't want to let everybody know that you really like this song. What you can do is you can add the song to the library. Now, in my library, I now have various artists, and I see the Twilight Saga and then the this song. Hold on one second. Let me make sure I added this right. Yeah. That's right. Okay, I'm sorry about that. All right, so it's from the Twilight album, um, and then the, it added it to the library itself. So it'll organize it by the actual album overall. You know, so let's say, you know, let's go back to the billboards, right? And Bruno Mars, right? Big artist. He right now has another number one hit of When I Was Your Man, right? But let's say I wanted to go ahead and just add an entire album of Bruno Mars. I, I don't want to just that one song. I want to go ahead and add the album that Bruno Mars currently has. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Bruno Mars. These are all currently the albums um, that are currently available. So let's say I like the Bruno Mars album. Okay. So let's say I, I really want to go ahead and um, add this. What I can do is add the album to the queue. I can add the album to my library. So the queue is currently playing. So any music you want to play right now, you add it to the queue. You add it to a library because you want to go ahead and, and organize your playlists or your, your library. So you'll put um, Bruno Mars there. So we'll add them to the library. And then let's say I want to add them to a playlist. Let's say some days I just want to go ahead and add a, you know, a particular type of um, album to a playlist. I really like this album. And I want to go ahead and play it. So I'll create a new playlist. I'll do Bruno Mars. I can do a description. Great music by Bruno Mars. And then we can get in either do this public or private. Now, this is going to be a nifty feature. We're going to get into that in a moment. Um, so the private playlists are things that you only create. The public playlist, which is really nifty, especially if you're really creative with your music and you feel you create amazing, you know, I can I could be a DJ on the radio type playlist. Um, you would want to make it public because other people will actually be able to go ahead and play your playlist that have Google Music, which is really nice. So we'll go ahead and just uh, create this private because everybody knows Bruno's Mars are. We didn't do anything special, right? We created the playlist itself. It's great. So then you'll see down here, you now have a playlist at Bruno Mars. And then it allows me to play the entire album. I can shuffle the playlist or I can share the playlist. And that's once again, going back to the whole uh, public. 
what's nice about this here is you actually get a link to the music that you're playing um, or I'm sorry a link that you uh, for this playlist itself and that you can get ahead and post on your website you know so if you're creating a blog and you're writing about Bruno Mars you know one of the things that Facebook did not do was really emphasize your likes uh, your interest when you went to market your website or your your blog it didn't market you know, interests that were truly to you. It was like, oh yeah, you had to be directed to Facebook to then view this page. With this, this gives you the button, and, you know, this is a the share, um, this on Google, whatever it may be. Um, so I'm gonna click that, and bam, that'll allow me to get and share this on my profile. I can get ahead and embed this on my website. So this is the embed code for the website. This is the embed code for Google Plus. Right, so let's go ahead and say Bruno Mars playlist. And remember, this is you can make this public. Don't forget that. You know, you can make this public or you can make it private. It's one of the nice things about Google. People complain about, you know, the the, the antitrust and I can't trust Google. They're trying to take my information. You know, Google they're a business, but they also have your interest at heart. And we're I'm about to show you that in a minute. Um, well, actually, no, we're not going to show it in this tutorial. We're going to stay on Google Play Music, uh, but we'll be running a tutorial on the um, Google Plus accounts as well, how to configure that, how to set that up. It's really going to be interesting. I think a lot of people, once they understand what Google Plus is, I think they're really going to transition away from Facebook itself. Um, but going back to this, we have the Google um, Mars playlist. It has my pre-default, the ones that I had before, right? And I can go ahead and click share. All right, so I click share, I go back to my profile, I'll refresh. Bam, look, so I have my Google playlist that I just, I just shared. I created this awesome playlist on Google Play Music. Now I can go ahead and listen to the shared playlist. So I click that. What that'll do is redirect me back to the, the main Google library where my library is. And leads me directly to that playlist for all users that follow you to also listen to the same music that you've listened to. So if you have this great album that you want people to listen to or a great playlist that you feel really set the mood or you have a friend that's not feeling well, you want to create them a playlist. Um, I like to think of this as the, the old mixtapes that used to make girls back in the day. You know, it had all your favorite songs, all your love songs. Well, think of this as the digital mixtape now. You know, this allows you to get ahead and create an album for, you know, anybody and anything, for any genre, at any time. As long as they have a Google Play Music account, they will be able to get and view these playlists without any issues. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close this out. So let's go ahead and go to the Explore. Right, remember I was telling you about featured playlists. These are our recommendations. So Google is saying, hey, based on what you like so far, you know, this is the recommendations that we have for you. And it just goes on and on and on and on. Right, the Featured. Uh, featured is nice, but this is where I was talking about. These are the, pu the public playlists that are currently available to Google uh, Play Music subscribers. You know, so that when you share your playlist, playlist publicly, um, so let's say we'll just click the first one, because that's the, the one that's available. So somebody has created this playlist and they feel that the dream, um, there's a whole bunch of them, Drake, LL Cool J, Mariah Carey, you know, they felt that all these songs from these artists um, would make a great playlist overall. Now, what you can go ahead and do is subscribe to this playlist. So what that does is the user that created this playlist, if they make changes to the songs, if they, you know, add a song, delete a song, it'll automatically update your playlist um, as well, which is another nifty feature. But you can also shuffle the playlist to play different playlists that you're currently subscribed to and so forth. Okay, so go back to featured. Uh, these are top albums that are currently um, either going to be uh, on the billboards or um, user voted essentially. So it's a combination of the two, you know, the, the power of the Google search engine, essentially those algorithms that run in the background, uh, top songs currently being played um, and so forth. This is all self-explanatory. I'm sure you've seen this before. 
uh, your new releases. These are new songs that have come out. Um, if you're an Xbox Music um, follower, then this should look really similar for you because this is essentially how Xbox Music plays out with new releases. Um, and then genres. You know, that's really going to be a big thing is sometimes we don't know what songs you want to listen to. This allows us to get ahead and do that. Okay. Um, that pretty much sums up what play music is. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to get in comment on this video here. Uh, and don't forget to check out devprocb.com. Uh, that will allow you to get ahead and uh, view all the videos that we currently create for our users. Uh, we're going to be revamping it because uh, we're going to be going more towards a, a, a video orientated type of website um, through the use of uh, Google um, different services. Um, so we're not going to do a traditional site. A lot of these videos are, are going to be transcribed. So when you view a specific uh, video, let's say you want to follow along, but let's say you're at work, uh, all the videos will be transcribed. So it'll have all the information under it like a regular article, but the video itself is going to be the main article itself. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video tutorial. If you have any questions or any other uh, concerns, feel free to go ahead and contact devprocb.com. Have a great day, guys.